What's going on guys? Concussion here. I'm over here on the Android server on my main account and it is torch time right now. So before we do anything else, let's haul. We're gonna use our faster heroes. We're not gonna use heroes like Goolum. I try to get down there as fast as possible for my guild. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'm doing pretty good over here. Hopefully we'll get some action and we'll have to guard. Can you haul with a stupid hero? Okay, there we go. It did it, guys. <laughs> this guild doesn't have enough torches. Okay, Castle Clash. Just making my job this much harder. I was late because Blue Stacks had an update and so did Castle Clash, so... If you guys are wondering... My guildmates, at least, why I was late. That's why. Okay, that's it. Haul. Haul. We don't got time for that. <clears throat> okay, so... <clears throat> what we usually do on torch time in our guild is we haul at 2045 server time. And by the time our hauls get out there... Usually it's time to defend. You want to try to haul as late as possible. Catch people off, not only off guard, but... You not only want to be able to catch people off guard... What was I going to say? Jiminy Christmas. But also, if you um haul later... You don't show up on the number one page on the haul... On the hauling list as easily. This list right here. Wait, oh my gosh, I was getting so confused. This page, right here. This page. Gosh, man. What is wrong with my brain today? If you guys are wondering <clears throat> what happened to the free-to-play walkthrough, right now I'm trying to get a good editor rather than the YouTube editor because right now, guys, I mean, I can't do the editing stuff that I want to do. I need to have this this YouTube. I need to have this this video editor out outside YouTube if I want to do the things I want to do with editing. Okay, so that's the problem. I have a vi I have the vi third video already made, guys. It's just I can't I can't edit it because I don't have the editing software. I have to buy it, and I tried to buy it last night, and it wouldn't let me. So I'm trying to work all this stuff out, guys. But don't you worry, the free-to-play walkthrough will be a daily series. I'm going to try to get it back up as soon as I'm done with this editing stuff. It's so annoying, man. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. <clears throat> okay, let's see who all is on. Okay, we got quite a bit of people on. Man, my toe itches right now. You ever get an itch and it's just so itchy, man, and it feels so good when you do it? Oh my gosh, it feels so good! <clears throat> I guess while we're waiting, we can just look at where I'm progressed in the game right now. Show you guys a few of the things I have planned for videos and, and whatnot. Okay. So, you may be seeing right now that my wallet is now double evolved, which is huge. It's ginormous. It cost me 60,000 shards to do it, and I got all the books back, because he was 200. Um, but guys, remember I said I couldn't roll any war gods? I probably have said this, but... I spin on this game, and I just don't roll war gods, okay? I need... This is, this is my third war god ever on this account and the last time i got a war god is like a year and a half ago but oh my gosh i freaked out so much when i got this war god you guys don't even know but i'm gonna have some dungeon videos coming up now that i have that that minnow with the war god i'm gonna try to 
I'm gonna double evolve with shards. I'm gonna max the crap out of this guy. And I'm gonna go into this dungeon. And I'm gonna say, I don't care who you are. I'm gonna smash you. Not smash you in the typical way. I'm gonna smash you with a minnow. That's what I'm gonna say. And I'm gonna say it loudly for the whole Castle Clash community to hear. Or at least I'll try. But. Great news, guys. Like, great news. Like, War God, it's so huge. And I finally rolled one. Okay, so, if you're wondering what my plans are, talent-wise, for this, this account, this is what I want. And I'm gonna go from left to right with what I like. On Skull Knight, that's my talent of choice. Eve 8 Deadly Strike, and he's pretty much maxed out. Ghulam, talent of choice. Anubis, talent of choice. Talent of choice. Well, if I can afford the Scorch, I would go Scorch. Uh, you should watch my Pumpkin Duke video. I explain all that there. I totally maxed out a Pumpkin Duke with Dodge. And he has max speed as well. Phantom King? De I mean, um, pff, oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? Grim Fiend. He has a 5A Sharpen. Which is pretty dang cool. But if I'm honest, I still want a 5A Bulwark for him. That's definitely what I'm going for. Trixie, Bulwark, favorite talent. Michael, Stoneskin, favorite talent. Walla, I hate to break it to you, buddy, but I really want a Bulwark on you. I only put this tenacity on him because there was nothing else I could put on him. You guys know the struggle. Uh, Phantom King, I like the Scatter. I'm going to keep it that way. I'll... I think you can't go wrong with hardly hardly any of Phantom King's talents. Alright. War, War God on the Warlock. That's what I want. Berserk on the Jed Drake. Hmm, is that what I want? To be honest, Bulwark and Berserk are kind of tied for me right now. Berserk is great in Lost Battlefield, Arena, that sort of thing. Scatter on the Artica. That'd be my talent of choice. It's just I don't have a level 5 Revite Crest set. Okay, let's see. Heartbreaker, I want to sharpen on her a 5 of 8 sharpen. I would have put that 5 of 8 sharpen on her, but she already has revite, and my account isn't at the point where it has all max talents, and there was nothing else I could do with it. On Ronan, I want to scorch. On Vlad, I still need a 5 of 8 war god. I still need a 5 of 8 war god for the spirit mage. That's all I'm really going to go over right now. If you guys are wondering where this happened, this happened back when I was like pretty much free to play. I rolled this War God on a free hero roll. This is back when I didn't spend hardly anything. And I didn't have any heroes back in that in that day. And so, you know what's funny, guys? I rolled this Vlad the day after they threw that 5A War God in my face. And the day they threw that five war god in my face, I put it on the flippin' thunder god. And then they gave me the Vlad the next day. You guys do not know how ticked off I was. Back in that day, Vlad was the best AoE guy. Okay. So are we being attacked? No, we're not being attacked. But this is just like good, good conversation. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Right now I have my totems going up to level 7. Uh, let's see. I'm still missing Gunslinger, guys. I don't qu quite have the Gunslinger yet. You know, let's let's talk about the new hero. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it. Just give my first opinion, okay? Now, guys, I have to think about this sort of thing. I'm a deep thinker. So I'll probably look at this more in my own time and give you an even better review on the hero. I mean, even more make sense review. Okay, but from what it looks like so far... <clears throat> Deals 450% attack damage to four random, random enemy targets. So she does it in a single attack. Increases spirit's attack by 160% and attack speed by 100%. So basically that means that the spirit, he attacks twice as fast with the attack speed buff. And he hits for 2.6 times damage. So... 2.6 times damage. Now, how much does the spirit skill do? 
Deals damage equal to 200% spirit attack to maximum 100 enemies. Recovers HP to itself equal 35. Okay. Okay, so the spirit... 200% attack, okay? 2.5 times that. Let's see. 2 times... 200% is 400%. Uh... 0.6 of 200. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, my head's not in the math right now. Let's see. Six, t six tenths of 200. Let's see. 12 twentieths. Six tenths is 12 twentieths. 12 twentieths. 120%. So, the point six is 120%. And the 100%, okay. So, let's see. 400%. And... Grrr, math. I hate math sometimes. Okay, so... The spirit will do 520% attack after she buffs the spirit. 520% attack to maximum of 100 enemies and recovers HP to itself. Okay. Now, a lot of people are thinking this is going to replace Anubis. Ain't nothing replacing Anubis. Anubis is his own deal, okay? Every hero is unique in its own way, okay? She's dependent on the spirit, okay? But the questions we have to ask ourselves before we go too quickly to judge is, one, if you put a war god or a bulwark on her, does that damage carry over to the spirit? And that that's what the main question we have to ask ourselves right now because that hasn't been tested. And two, does this guy really do as much damage as Anubis? Well, let's just look at Anubis. Okay, this guy over here does 420% attack to 100 targets. What does Anubis do? Okay, guys, he does this totally different. He is a different hero, okay? Deals 300% attack to 100 enemies, but he reduces their attack by 42%. All of them. This guy doesn't debuff them. He just, he just buffs himself like crazy. See, he doesn't debuff the enemies. Totally different hero, guys. Don't So when you see a new hero come out, don't be too quick to judge. Okay, because... One... My first question. Do talents... Does, does the war god talent... Or the Borg talent carry over to the spirit. Does, does the talent buff carry over to the spirit? Okay, and two. What I just said right there. I mean, I think Anubis is tankier. Let's just look at her health. So. She has 54,000 health. Okay, guys. Look at my man Anubis over here. 67,000 with three lives. Sure, she spawns she spawns a scrub. But she is still going to be squishy. Okay, so if she dies, her spirit dies as well. Okay? So you got to look at all the variables. You just can't you can't go that quick to judge. Anyway. So that's that's what I think about the new hero and for the update, I like it so far. I think it's pretty cool now that builders have more jobs. Although at my state in the game, I'm still upgrading stuff, so it's pointless. It's almost pointless unless one of these guys is giving out fame. Right now, they're just giving out merits. Bunch of scrubs. Bunch of scrubs with a K instead of a C. Okay. Right now, I'm sweeping AB. And... I am sweeping 410 of Insane Dungeon. Okay, of Insane Dungeon. 
Now, when I get this Minotaur maxed out, 8 of 8 War God, 10 of 10 skill, double evolved with all the works, damage, damage, um, enchantment trait, talents, stuff like that. I think I can maybe beat 610. Okay, I'm stuck on 510, okay? But I could beat 610 with the Minotaur, guys. I could beat the 510 with the Minotaur, maybe even the 7 of 10, guys. A Minotaur with a War God might be one of the most overpowered things you can have in the game. I'm serious. Like, without him, I don't see myself getting much farther than 510. I don't even know if I could beat... I can't, I can't see a free-to-play getting past 610 without a Minotaur. I just can't see it. I mean, I can't see him getting past 710 without a Minotaur. I don't know, guys. Anyway, that War God Minnow is so huge. Like, you guys don't even know. Like, <sighs> just huge. All right. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the video here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please leave a like, comment. If you haven't already, subscribe. All that good stuff. And I will see you guys soon in another video. Hopefully, I'll have that free-to-play walkthrough back up soon. I'm just working working on the editing software. I don't have the right software for it right now. All right. Love you guys. Have a great day. See you in another video. Bye.